Have you ever wondered how Native Americans mastered the art of stealth, allowing them to move silently through the wilderness? What if the key to being truly invisible wasn't just about hiding, but about moving undetected in plain sight? Number 5 on the list of stealth skills that set them apart is the ability to walk silently. It seems backwards to most of us, but indigenous tribes know that walking silently means walking toe to heel, not heel to toe. The native way of walking was to take smaller steps, no more than three feet or so, and place the toes on the ground first. The weight of their body rested on the back leg. This allowed them to check the noise value of the ground they are about to step on. This way, if there is a twig hidden under leaves, they will feel it with their toes before it makes much of a sound. Number 4 on the list of the stealth skills is the ability to be ultra quiet. While walking toe to heel is considered to be the main stealth skill, there are other things that matter. For example, no matter how silent your feet might be, if you are singing, talking, whistling, or even breathing loudly, you will be heard. This is one reason why native people learned the songs and whistles of native birds. They could signal one another with natural sounds that few would suspect. Being aware of noisemakers on your person is another factor to consider. Your equipment, shoelace ends tapping on your shoes, nylon pants rubbing against your legs, a clanging water bottle or rifle, all make noise that, while it might not be much, will sound like a trumpet in the quiet of the woods. The third stealth skill Native Americans had was the ability to watch their posture. They knew most people walk with their backs hunched forward and their heads up. This will naturally put most of the body weight on the front foot. This made them learn how to bend their knees and keep themselves as low as possible while still keeping the upper part of the body erect. They knew it requires more leg strength, so they had to do more squats to increase the strength of their thigh muscles. While they're bending their knees, they keep their hands and arms at waist level. They use their hands' palms down to balance and further help distribute their weight. In the dark or even places where the light level was very low, this helped them to avoid smacking low tree branches. This was their perfect position to pounce upon unsuspecting prey or move quickly if they were suddenly ambushed. The fourth stealth skill Native Americans possessed was the ability to breathe differently from other humans. Another trick that indigenous people used was not staring directly at the person or animal until they were within range and ready to attack, believing that humans and animals could sense, somehow, that someone is watching them. When they were not in a good position to shoot, or if they wanted to avoid being seen, and their prey looks at them or even in their general direction, they simply do not assume to have been spotted. They freeze where they were, simply because eyes will quickly catch movement. But objects that are stationary at so much. Ancient Native Americans also knew that this depends on their skin tone, so they had to resort to painting their face and upper body with streaks of black and red. This helped them appear more like shadows, those who had light-colored skin who have intentions of hunting in low-light areas always covered their skin with streaks of dirt. They knew that while an animal might not be able to recognize a shadow, a person surely will. They mastered the act of positioning themselves in the sunlight to avoid projecting a human shadow. Many native tribes tried to keep the sun on their back, as they knew that most animals and people will turn their faces away from direct sunlight. The number five stealth skill on the list, which will shock you that Native Americans possessed, happens to be the ability for them to check the wind. While you most likely could not smell a deer or a person unless that person was using perfume or lack deodorant until you were almost upon them, almost all animals have a better sense of smell than you. If the wind is chasing your scent directly to your prey, even an average deer can smell you coming from half a mile away. All the stealth in the world won't help if your prey can smell you coming. Native Americans defiled this law they were able to determine the flow and direction of the wind, so their smell won't be detected by animals or invaders. While some think this was a spiritual ability, but then they were all able to perform it, be it an adult or a child. They were also able to tell if their enemies were close, just from the smell of the wind and able to tell how close the enemy is and determine the numbers of them. Embrace these ancient skills, 
Make them a part of your stealth arsenal. The shadows of the past hold the keys to a future where you move undetected. Unleash the stealth within. As you embark on this journey to master ancient Native American stealth, remember, these skills aren't just about silence. They're about becoming one with the unseen. Silent steps, boundless possibilities. Stay tuned for more untold stories and hidden histories. If you found this exploration intriguing, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, keep exploring the extraordinary tales that history has woven. This is Root History Channel.